Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Slightly Warped, the podcast where we talk about anything and everything, and it's always good. I'm Rick, and as usual, I'm joined by Ryan, Big Show, Bully. What's happening? Ryan, Ryan, Ryan. Um, Before we get started, I uh, guess that uh, you've got something that you need to take care of on the show. I, I, I do. Um, last week... Um, when we were discussing the USFL, I offended some viewers, one very important viewer. Um, we don't need to give her any credit right now. She doesn't need to, you know, blow up on our dime. You know what I'm saying? But she knows who she is, was upset that I stated that the New Jersey Generals sucked. They were nine and one. They were the second best team in the league, but they didn't suck. So I told her I would retract that statement, but I will say they choked and uh, they still didn't make the championship game. And there it is. So moving on. All right, sis, did you get that? <laughs> All right. Um, and just for the record, I had no part in it because a, I didn't watch the game and B uh, I have hard enough time being a Raider fan. So, big show. Yes, sir. Let, let's talk TV for a second. You know, okay. It, it's not like it was back in the day where we had network TV, and you know, the lucky few had cable and the lucky fewer had satellite. Now we have streaming thrust upon us, and uh, because of the streaming game, there are literally thousands of channels. And a million different things that uh, people could be watching. So I'm going to pose this first question to you and ask, what is the one thing that you are streaming right now that you probably would want to tell people about? Um, <clears throat> the show that I'm streaming now and I, I'm just getting ready to start the last season is Animal Kingdom. And I get that through Amazon Prime. Um, I think they're on TBS or USA Weekly. It's a pretty What's decent show. Um, it's about a, well, the overall series is about a woman who has about four or five kids, boys, and they basically commit crimes and split the money. You know, they, they, they're thefts, you know, they rob banks, they do all sorts of stuff and get into all kinds of trouble and. Um, it's a really good show. I mean, it's it's really good. So uh, that's 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 the one I'm working on right now. Um, wanting to start, I've seen it. It's uh, the Titans, uh, DC, the DC teenagers. You know, with Robin and yeah. Raven and all them. So I'm going to start that when I'm done with Animal Kingdom. Interesting. Uh, Animal Kingdom sounds a lot like one that I used to watch, Sons of Anarchy. It is similar. I, I've watched all Sons of Anarchy. I've watched all of the uh, spinoff of the Mayans Motorcycle Club. Is that any uh, good? I haven't seen Mayans. I've yes, seen it is good. It is good. The Mayans is 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 really good, just like Sons. And then you, there's actually some crossover. So every once in a while, you'll see Chibs. And you'll see uh, some of the old school cats that you're used to seeing. Uh, but it is good. It is good. Okay. Now, I'm going to go comedy on you real quick. One that Heather and I have been watching um, for a little while now. It's on Hulu or FX, depending on which one you have. Um, what we do in the shadows. Is that the vampire one? Yes, it is. They are crazy. I've heard that that was a really good show. It is. Now, I've not seen the movie that it was based off of, not yet anyway, but knowing that it's a Taika Waititi movie and how crazy his movies are, I figured I'd give the show a chance, and we've watched the first three seasons, and uh, today, as a matter of fact, as of taping this show, season four started. Oh, okay. Now. Is it a 30-minute 30 30 yeah, minute show? Or? It is. <clears throat> now, once this is over, I'm going to also stick with uh, Hulu and FX. There's a show called The Old Man. 
and I want to say it's uh, Jeff Bridges, a spy kind of thing. Bridges. Yeah, yep. I have not seen any of that yet, but that's one I really want to check out. It caught my eye, and um, I, I've, I've gotten a couple people said, hey, you need to watch this. So who am I to say no to good entertainment? I'll give it there a shot. Go. There you and, go. Uh, because I am who I am, I'm going to continue to be on the lookout for good entertainment and um, report it back to y'all as as I see it. Well, I tell you, if you, if you liked Sons of Anarchy, all the episodes and seasons of Minds are on Hulu as well. So you can check it out there. I will do that. I will definitely do that. Now, going from that to uh, some little craziness. I had posed a question to you, uh, not really a question, but a statement, because it seems like whether it's in the press, in the media, or on our daily jobs uh, out in public, where we shop, where we meet people, and maybe it's just me, but I believe it's not, people are getting crazier and crazier. And when I say crazy, it's a bad kind of crazy. People are getting bolder. People are getting meaner. Just a-holes have yes. you noticed that yes yes um yes <laughs> <laughs> now the thing that made me realize that i was looking and i came across this article um it was actually um i saw this one when i was on twitter it was from uh culture crave and, you know, a, a nice thing. It's an actor, Paul Rudd, signed an Ant-Man helmet and sent a letter oh. to a 12-year-old boy. Now, yeah, the I thing that, that caught my eye was <clears throat> his classmates were bullying him, and they refused to sign his yearbook. So the assholeness starts at a young age. And by the way, kids, it is a learned experience. It is not something that's inherent. Um, right. Well, I mean, let's face it. When we was all in school kids were always assholes they were but they they pick up on it from big they brother worse mother. now oh yeah they're worse and, now because of all the social media stuff man to be honest i mean and um you know here i am up on my soapbox the old the old gray-haired guy here but i'm back at my age um <laughs> You know, the, the kids were, the kids now are so desensitized to so many different things uh, where I, I think we talked about it last week a little bit, but you know, where people would rather, instead of helping somebody in trouble, the first thing they're going to do is grab their phones and video record it. You know what I mean? Yes. Yes. Um, it just, it's the whole mentality that the world owes me everything and I don't have to work to get anything. That's the younger generation. And it really ticks me off. Okay, it I'm off my now. No, no, I, I, I agree with you 100%. I think that, and, you know, I see it every day. And it, it, it just irks me because I just want to know what has become of the world. And I guess this is my old man gray hair moment, but it, it just didn't used to be like that. It did not. And, and we live in an age now where not only is it getting worse, but it's getting acceptable more and more. It's acceptable. It's okay for you to insult someone. It's okay for you to be mean, be an a-hole. It's, it's okay. And if you do it, you're okay because society allows it. Or, hey, I think, I think it's kind of funny, you know. We all got a kick out of it, watching the old man fall um, on his face on the, in the middle of the street. We all mm -hmm. think it's funny, you know, when that car wreck happened. Damn, he tore his car up. Nobody thinks to go see if the person's okay. If the person's are, exactly. Yeah. And if you are said, you know, person that's getting pushed or yelled at or cursed at, if you react, you're now in the wrong. That's where I was getting ready to go with that. It's yes. like, it's okay for them to do it, but if you do it back, right. it becomes of you, you know? And I tell you, um, 
again, I'm gonna jump back on my soapbox for just a second. Take your time. Take uh, your time. Um, you know, being a martial artist and a martial arts instructor, where when you're in the dojo, in the training room, you can physically um, handle situations. You know, if you throw a punch, I can block maneuver, that type of stuff. Right. That I can handle. What I really, truly despise, and it irks the hell out of me, is all these mother flipping keyboard warriors that are that are on this social media stuff talking all this jazz but won't do it in your face that irritates the hell out of me yeah i think that is one of the biggest things in society now people can say or do whatever they want to because they're comfortable from a distance exactly you know how many of these people that will talk bad about you will will do it to your face exactly <clears throat> I mean, I guess I'm getting ready to have another old man moment too. Um, <laughs> on my alternate channel, you know, Kaz and I, we um, we do music reviews, mm -hmm. and the whole point of review is we tell you if we like it or not. Quick now that plug, doesn't that's mean sizzle or fizzle. Yeah, right? sizzle or fizzle. That is correct. Let's, Thank you. That. Let's get that plugged in there. Yeah. So. So, you know, since I'm doing it, y'all, everybody watching on YouTube, go to the YouTube channel, Rewind, Relive, Review, Sizzle or Fizzle, over 140 videos for y'all. <clears throat> All right, now back to the subject at hand. We had a video, and I'm not even going to go over the band name here. I'm not going to give anybody any credit. Neither one of us liked the song. Pink Floyd. <laughs> <laughs> you said it, not me. Um. Here, here's the hey, thing i'm not on the show they can't get mad at me we prefaced it at the a couple times during the show we like the band we like several of their songs but we didn't care for this song bro if you could see the hate that came from people i mean from when it dropped all the way until i mean i think it just died down yesterday uh, as far as comments that came in, I was, I was amazed. I'm like, wow, my phone is blowing up. Wow, I'm really popular. Don't get me wrong. It got a lot of views, which, you know, that's the end which goal. what we want. Because, right. you know, what they say in entertainment, even bad publicity is good publicity. Is, that's right. But uh, I never, I mean, a good example. Pink, Pink Floyd <laughs> is a great band. That song, they are, they are, sucked. Uh, you know, and I said it. There's nothing wrong with guitar rock, I love it. But if, I, if I'm falling asleep while I'm listening to it, I yes. probably don't like it. Now, it doesn't mean you don't have to like it. Right. As a matter of fact, everybody's entitled to their own opinion. And exactly. if we put out something that we liked every single week, I'd say the show is rigged, but you know. Now, now, here's the thing. A good example of stupidity that came through. Someone mentioned, how can you not like Pink Floyd? And keep in mind, I said that we like them, but they didn't pay attention. How can you not like them? It's un-American. Well, first of all, they're British. <laughs> Let's get that <laughs> off the table now. <laughs> Second of all, we said that we like them. You know, I've said it twice already on this show. So I know if you play back the video, you'll hear us say it two or three other times. So oh, yeah. I, I, you did say that. I did watch it. You did say <laughs> that you like the band, just not this particular song. Yeah. And, and we didn't even, and I didn't even give any said hate. That it's, in, it's in three different ways. That song was recorded three different ways, right? Yes. Yes. It's just this particular version y'all did not care for. No, and, and you know, maybe if I would have saw a live version, I probably would have liked it a lot better. Or maybe if I would have heard something different somewhere else. And, and that's the other thing. It, it really depends on the time and the place that you hear things, too. This um, is true. You know, it, it, I, and I'll say this in closing for that argument. It just wasn't for me. Yeah, and you uh, give uh, those guys enough airtime. You don't have to explain yourself no further. Yeah. You guys did it perfectly on that video. But, but, but you know, we've had songs before where people agree or disagree, but the level 
I, I mean, you would have thought, what is wrong with me? Because I'm not <laughs> liking this song. Something must be wrong with me. It's like, really? I, wow. I, I'm not even going to pull out the bad ones. I mean, I had one that was rough. I'm like, this person had a bad childhood because they are seriously offended that I didn't like this song. And, and you know, then they had to start attacking the stuff that we did like. And I'm like, wow, I, I didn't know that it was a battle of the bands going on here. But, hey, some but people, see, they live for this stuff. And how you said, you know, bad publicity is good publicity. What you yeah. made that person do is go look at all the other videos. So, hey, win-win. I know, right? <laughs> God looking out for me. That's right. But, but I say all this in, in going full circle. Yeah. Um, people will say all kind of stuff. They will do all kind of stuff from a keyboard. Oh, yeah. But if we were, say, in front of a live studio audience, I wonder how many people would have said all the things that they would have said. I'm just putting that out there. Small percentage. Very small. Yeah. Um, anyway, just uh, finishing up this topic here, I just wish there was something that we could do to counteract so much hate that's going on in the world. And there is. Oh. Smile. <laughs> Spread positivity. I, I try to do that try to do that that's all you can do that's all you can do cry in the dark and smile in the light you know let everybody see that it's not affecting you and when you're by yourself and if it does affect you you take care of it that way nah i mean i'm really good i mean like i said i know being in the entertainment industry that you know bad publicity is still good publicity and when i see how many views that something's getting i'm like okay i'll take this beating Cause that's getting me closer to my YouTube. Should not like stuff more often. <laughs> Thought about that too. <laughs> Thought about that. Um, matter of fact, we did recordings yesterday, and I figured they'd be so so, but they were really on point. They were some really good recordings. So you'll see those come out next week. So excellent. Um, Looking forward to it. But but we're gonna keep doing what we do, which is you know one of the things everybody should do. That's experiencing negativity in their life keep doing what you do keep doing what makes you happy and don't let things get to you from other people people will say what they want to say because nine times out of ten they're mad because of the situation that they're in or they're mad because you're experiencing something some kind of joy that they don't have <clears throat> and, and they want to steal it yes don't let anybody steal your joy that's right yeah. All right, let's get off of our soapboxes. Well, actually, I'm going to segue into that uh, because if anybody wants to steal my joy about my Raiders, <laughs> kiss my ass. Um, now, going to sports, <laughs> we had an assignment. Oh, isn't it cute how every team has to have a fan? That's just awesome. Oh, the Chargers got fans? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We probably got Charger fans out there. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I really am. Just full disclosure, all you California teams, even though we're in Vegas now, we still own you. I'm talking to you, Rams. I'm talking to you, Niners. And I'm especially talking to you, Chargers. All right. We had an assignment. We did. Top five. And just to let everybody know, this five is not in five to one order or anything like It's just, it, it could be in any order but it's the top five at the following positions. Quarterback, running back, wide receiver, and tight end. And we will probably delve a lot deeper into other things for other teams as we get through, uh, as training camps start to open and we progress towards the uh, season. I know we don't do a whole heck of a lot of sports in here, and that's because primarily nine times out of 10 when it comes to sports, when we talk about a game or we talk about somebody that did something during a game or something like that, nine times out of 10 people have seen it. So 
it's kind of hard to give our take on something that's black and white. It's right out there. Uh, so I like to do more opinionated stuff. And that's where this top five thing was bred out of because I want to see in each category if your five remotely matches mine or if we're just like not even in the same galaxy. Uh, where do you want to start? Hey, wherever you want to go. All right, let's uh, let's start with the tight ends because okay. I've got out of you know it, it's just four categories, five each. That's twenty different people that we're going to name, and I'm just yep. going to let you know right now, I'm not being a homer at all. There are only two Raiders out of all twenty people that are on my list. So you know you 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 won't see me just throwing a name out there just because I love the guy. I'm I'm actually going with. This is this is the tops of the tops at their positions. It pains me to say that, so you won't hear me mention Derek Carr, <laughs> even though I just mentioned Derek Carr. All right, tight end Derek, Derek Jalopy. I I ain't trying to hear you. <laughs> who you got? Who hey, you got for your five hey, tight? By the yeah. way, did you do you realize that Mahomes is twenty seven and three against the AFC West? Anyway. Uh, my top five is uh, the sun shines on a dog's ass sometimes. Yeah, twenty-seven times for us. Uh, Kittle from the Niners, Kelsey, uh, Darren Waller of those Las Vegas Raiders, uh, Kyle Pitts, the tight end there out of Atlanta, hmm. and Dawson Knox there from Buffalo. Those are my we, five. We 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 almost are in agreement. I've got Kelsey on there. I, I'm not ashamed to say it. My man Kelsey is the number one tight end in the league. I will say that. I will even rock a Kelsey jersey if he signs it for me. That's the only exception. It must be signed. Um, I, I do have George Kittle, and I do have Darren Waller. The two that we differ on, I've got Mark Andrews from Baltimore. Dude's a stud. And I've got Dallas Goddard from Philadelphia. Um, I think Goddard was underutilized, but that's because Philadelphia is, they're finding their way with the offense uh, and that'll come around, but he's putting up some good numbers out there. Now, this list so far, I'm going to tell you, it's to be expected where we differ because after those three that we mentioned, the drop-off is huge. I mean, it is with with exception. Like, if I had to rank number five, Pitts would be five on my list. But Knox, Waller, Kittle, you could rank them in two, three, or four, any order you want to do in my book. And Kelsey's obviously number one, but um, you know, Knox with the Buffalo defense, man, he looks he looks very Kelsey. Waller Kittle esque when they're playing good. Yeah, he does. Um, I, I guess I didn't put him down because I just really like. I like what you say about him, but Andrews does the same thing in Baltimore, and Andrews it's almost like good. he's 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 like a safety net for Lamar Jackson. Right, the, and the only reason why he's not on my list because I did I did contemplate is the style of offense that each one of them play. Uh, you know, Baltimore's more of a running team, you know, yeah. uh, option type stuff. So he's not going to get the looks, the touches, the routes that these other five are going to get, in my humble opinion. But, uh, you know, so far, so good. Uh, running back, how you looking? Um, <clears throat> man, I, you said you had two Raiders. I, yeah, I have three. Believe it or not, and I'm a diehard cheese man. I put Josh Jacobs on this list. I, mm, I believe interesting. He's, a, he's a good running back. Uh, Jonathan Taylor mm -hmm. from the Colts. Obviously, King Derrick Henry got him on the list. Mm -hmm. uh, Nick Chubb mm -hmm. from Cleveland. And finishing out my top five, Alvin Camaro with the Saints. Okay. Here's where we differ. Because... As much as I love um, <clears throat> the Raiders, I can't put 
Jacobs in my top five. He's like six or seven. I will give him that. But here's the five that I have before him. Jonathan Taylor, of course. Nick Chubb, of course. Derrick Henry. Dalvin Cook in Minnesota. He's a beast. And number five, number five, I almost put Kamara. I almost did. But I wanted I went with Christian McCaffrey because he's just everything in Carolina. Without without him, they lose. With him, they win. He's see, I, I'm big picture. Both yeah. Cook and and both McCaffrey are injury prone. Yeah, that's true. And they're not going to be on the field the entire entire season. So I put guys that that are that are workhorses that stay healthy. I, I can't knock you for that, but again, we've got three similar in Derrick Henry, Nick Chubb, and Jonathan Taylor. So, so so far we matched with three on each each one. Absolutely. How you how you looking on those receivers? Obviously, Devontae Adams. Uh, what the number Lamar. one receiver in the league? Um, yes, for the Packers. Um, <laughs> Jamar Chase, Stephon Diggs, DeAndre Hopkins. And then my f- number five will be Justin Jefferson from the Vikings. Well, we differ quite a bit on this list. Uh, yes, Devontae. That's my other Raider. You know he's going on there. And I don't think there'll be too much drop-off. Uh, yes, he played for Aaron Rodgers. But uh, Aaron Rodgers, as great as he's been, Oh, did you say there's years. not going to be much of a drop off between Carr and Rodgers? Is that what you just said? Yeah, because if well, I'm not going to oh, get into Derek, I'm not gonna, I told you I'm not going to get into this. Woo. If you look at this the numbers, is another show topic. Yes, this is another show topic. But I'll say this: if you look at the stats, actually, Carr has been more accurate than Rodgers. Hey, and if you look at the stats, Tua has been more ac- more accurate than Mahomes. Who would you rather Ugh. have? Yeah, never mind. Point taken. Okay. <laughs> All right, I had I had Devontae. I've also got Cooper Cup. That man proved in the Super Bowl he'll catch anything. Yeah. DeAndre Hopkins. Stephon Diggs. And it pains me to say this, but until he's proven wrong by Tua, Tyreek Hill. Tyreek Hill is, is – if, if we – we would have went fastest wide receivers on this list. He would have been on my list. And he is a very good wide receiver. Don't get me wrong. Mm-hmm. But he, he he drops too many footballs, man. There were balls right in his bread basket. He dropped them and caused interceptions last year and the year before last. That's the only reason why he's not on my list. Yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, well, he better uh, not drop those 10-yard hitches and all that stuff where he's running 70 yards afterwards. He better well, not drop those 10-yard hitches. That's all he's going to get because he's not going to get any bombs because that dude is not accurate to a yeah. – um, just put it out there for all you Dolphin fans. Wait, what team does Sis root for? Who? <laughs> um, our our uh, New Jersey Sis. Yeah, I don't Dolphin know who fan? she roots for. I thought she was a Dolphin I- fan. Oh, if she is, I am not retracting <laughs> anything about the Dolphins, okay? Look at my face. It's not happening. Ah, okay. So you had Devontae, you had uh, DeAndre Hopkins, you had Stephon Diggs, right? Yeah. How come you don't have Jamar Chase on that list? Because I got DeAndre Hopkins, Stephon Diggs, Cooper Cup, and Devontae Adams. Who, who do we have different? Tyreek Hill. Oh, Hill. You put Hill in front. Yeah. Okay, well, all right. Hey, but at, at least on this list, what we got? Four? Four of them? No, we're still at three because I've got three? Stephon, Devontae, and DeAndre. Okay. That's right. You didn't have Cooper Cup. Uh uh-uh. uh. Okay. All right. Here's the dreaded one that we've been waiting for. Talk to me about your QBs. You got Derek Carr, number five? <laughs> 55, maybe. Uh, Matt Stafford, uh, Lamar Jackson, Aaron Rodgers, Tom Brady, Patrick Mahomes. Okay. Let's get the elephant out of the room. 
I, I got Patrick Mahomes on the list. I got Tom Brady on the list. I got Matthew Stafford on the list. <clears throat> I've also got Aaron Rodgers on the list. And I've got Josh Allen as my fifth guy on the list. Thought about him. He's he's he 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 was borderline on my list, but uh, yeah, I mean I can't complain with that. I can cross Lamar off and put Josh on my list. It's not a problem. Yeah, uh, I haven't seen enough passing from Lamar Jackson for him to make any of my QB list. Um, and if I want a big, strong quarterback that can run, I'll go with Josh. Yeah. So, you know, that, that that's where we differ. I mean, for obvious reasons, Mahomes was going to be on there. Um, yeah, that bitch has a 27-3 and three record against the AFC West. I get it. I understand. Aaron Rodgers. Hey, he but one of those losses was against the Raiders. I know. I take pride in that, but my, my damn, my so damn happy. coach had to go around the wheels on the bus, go round and round, you know. <laughs> yeah, y'all so happy you did a victory lap around Arrowhead. Woo-hoo! I don't understand. I still, no, no. Why? Why? Those are the kind of things that affect me. But anyway, um, it seems like we continue to have this three out of five matching. Well, this you one had was four out of five. Wait, what was our difference? Oh, Josh uh, Allen. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, quarterbacks, we're pretty much right on point. Yeah. And I think that's to be expected because when you look at these top five quarterbacks, it's them and then the tier drops off once you go to six, seven, and eight. Yeah, there's probably another five or ten before we can put Derek Carr on that list. Nope, we already talked about it a couple shows ago. We know Derek Carr is. Look, he's, I can't. He's, no, he's, we don't. He's at least we, number eight. If we not don't number nine. know, I just conceded said argument because you didn't want to put into place teams that have made Super Bowls, quarterbacks that have made Super Bowls. You didn't. You didn't want to concede that fact. So I was like, okay, fine. Those three that went and didn't win, they can't be on the list. Well, here's the thing. If we're only talking about current quarterbacks that are in the league that have made Super Bowls, there's only like five of them left in the league that have been on Super Bowl teams. Everybody else is retired, so because Brady won't leave. Um, it's kind of hard. It's kind of hard to make a top ten out of just five quarterbacks. Golf. <laughs> I don't made know. Super, he made a Super Bowl. Yeah, Matt, he did. I mean, Matt Ryan. Hey, no, Matt Ryan is good. Made a Super Bowl. He's good. Russell now, Wilson. I, made a I, Super Bowl. I, I, won I, I a am, Super Bowl. I am not comparing anything here because you know the top the top five that we have is most accurate. I'll put my guy at number nine <laughs> if I have to, but. I I am just really really surprised that we were so close on uh, on all these. I'm not. Great minds think alike. Yeah, I'm gonna have to think of something more controversial as we get closer to training camp. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna do predictions and things like that before oh, training camp definitely. or before the season starts. Before the season Good starts, deal. definitely. Good deal. All right, before we get out of here, uh, I just want everybody to know: hey, like us, share, subscribe. And you can leave us threatening comments too, and say that we're not American. I don't. I don't care, because <laughs> you know, bad publicity is still good publicity. There you go. Show, as usual, great one. Appreciate you. We'll see y'all next week. Love each other. Tomorrow's my promise. Y'all stay positive. Stay blessed. Take care.